Shut up and sit down. So now that I have that cranberry wine back down in the cellar, all bottled up and ready to go, I started a gallon of, uh, oh, I don't know, I guess you could call it a blanc. It's just a white grape wine. But what I really wanted to show you is I am also starting a gallon of Bumblefrog Blueberry Wine. Bumblefrog Blueberry Wine. Look it up. It is a wonderful midsummer treat. So this will be ready for next midsummer. And uh, I'm going to take you along with making it. So to start out, what I've got here is two pounds of frozen blueberries with water just to cover, maybe a half inch to an inch. And I'm going to bring it to a boil. Keep watching for the next parts. All right, it has just started boiling, so I have turned it off. I don't want to boil it too much. Um, now, normally you would use two pounds of honey. That's pretty much a quart jar of honey. I only had about a pound. So I am going to add my pound of honey that I did have. I had about half a jar. And to replace that, I'm going to replace it with a cup of sugar. And I'm just going to stir it until everything dissolves and comes together. Now you can add more sugar, more honey, whatever. It really makes no difference. It's your wine. But this is what I'm doing for now. You can always back sweeten later. Ready? Okay, so right now I have just separated the blueberries from the blueberry juice. This is just a temporary thing. We will be adding some, if not all, of the blueberries back in. And I'm going to pour them into this gallon jug. back in there. Okay, I didn't put all the blueberries in, but most of them. Now, this is way too hot for the yeast, so I'm going to have to let this sit for a minute and uh, cool down before we move on to the next part four. So now, let's go outside and see what wildflowers Mother Earth is going to give us to put in our bumble frog blueberry wine today. Dandelions and white clover. That's a good start. Ooh, some honeysuckles. Ooh, the mulberries are getting close to being ready. You know, let's pick some mint too. Mint goes in everything. The plum tree is absolutely loaded. And look, a baby apple. And when the Missouri dogwood berries, we can make wine with it too. So I collected about that much of my wild flowers and herbs, and I'm just going to shove it all down. So a quick intermission while we're waiting for the bumble frog blueberry mead to cool down and show you this fabulous fermentation that is taking place with the white wine that I have going. This is what you want to happen. Look at that. That is fantastic stuff. Okay. So it was cooled off enough that I went ahead and added the water. I added room temperature water. And that's going to continue cooling what was in there off uh, further, which is what I needed to happen. Tip, do not fill your jug past the shoulders of the jar because the fermentation will cause fizzing and fuzzing and trust me, it will blow right out the top. Now we're going to add the yeast. 
I am adding a wine yeast to this. You can use bread yeast. Doesn't make any difference. If you're using a bread yeast, you want about three or four teaspoons. And then we're gonna give it a good shaking. You wanna shake, shake, shake? Now I'm out of time, so part six coming up. The hoops I would have to jump through between the ATF, the FDA, and the IRS would hardly make it worth me selling my couple of cases of wine that I make. So I use it myself all throughout the year, and I give it away as gifts. So, no, I'm sorry, I, ca I cannot sell any of the wine that I make, but I can show you how to make it, and I can use it for giveaways, too. So, after about an hour or so, this is what you should see. Lots of foaming and fizzing and bubbling in your airlock. Now, you're going to leave it this way for about... Oh, I don't know, three or four weeks. What will happen is the uh, fermentation will slow way down and there will har hardly be any bubbling at all. Um, at that point, strain everything out of the wine and then put it back in your jar. Put your airlock back on. Leave it for another three or four weeks. Actually, leave it until it completely settles and clears. Um, I'll try uh, to videos when we get to that point. Meanwhile, I'm going to load all of these videos into one on my YouTube. So, here after a bit, get on my YouTube and check it out.